Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We have to show that the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular to each other. Before proceeding with the question, we should know what is rhombus. We know that rhombus is a parallelogram where the sides are equal. So let me write the definition. Rhombus is nothing but a parallelogram with equal sides. That means all these four sides are equal. That is the definition of a rhombus. We have to prove that the diagonals of this rhombus are perpendicular to each other. So let's draw the diagonals first. This is one diagonal and this is another diagonal. Okay, so we have to prove that these diagonals are perpendicular. And let this be angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4. So, to prove angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Okay. If you see angle 1 is equal to angle 3, we already know angle 1 is equal to angle 3, vertical opposite angle and angle 2 is equal to angle 4. That is also something we know. And angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 degree. That is also we know because they are in a line. So if we can prove somehow if either angle 1 is equal to angle 2 or angle 1 is equal to angle 4, either of these, then sorry, angle in that case, we can prove that they are 90 degree. So, if angle 1 plus angle 2 is 90 degree and angle 1 is equal to angle 2, so angle 1 is equal to, if we can prove angle 1 is equal to angle 2, then angle 1 plus angle 1 is what? 180 degree or angle 1 will be 90 degree. Similarly, angle 1 is equal to angle 2, so angle 2 is also equal to 90 degree. Angle 2 is equal to angle 4, so angle 4 is also 90 degree. And angle 1 is equal to angle 3, so angle 3 is also 90 degree. Correct? So we just have to prove that either 1 plus 2 is 180 degree or 1 plus 4 or 2 plus 3. Any other pair we can take. Got it? So let's name this first. A, B, C, Okay, so let's take these two triangles because we have to prove, let's suppose angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Let's take these two triangles. Angle AO, this is D and COD. Okay, so let's take this AOD. And you know that this angle A will be equal to what? We're comparing the side, right? So, AD will be equal to CD, okay, AO will be equal to OC, AO will be equal to OC, so here we'll have OC and we'll have D here. So, AO is equal to OC, why? Because this is a parallelogram and the bisect, I mean this parallelogram bisect each other, the diagonal of the parallelogram bisect each other, so AO will be equal to OC. Then OD. OD is equal to OD, common side. What about AD and CD? AD and CD will also be equal because they are sides of the rhombus. So these two triangles are congruent. So let's talk about AOD. AOD is this angle and COD is this angle. So these angles will also be equal. This angle is angle 1, this angle is angle 2. So angle 1 will be equal to angle 2 and thus we can prove our concepts. This was a rough work and now we can actually write in simple maths, simple English actually, in triangle AOD and triangle COD, AO is equal to CO, diagonal of parallelogram bisect each other, okay, and then OD is equal to OD, common side, and then we have AD, is equal to CD. 
sides of rhombus are equal therefore triangle AOD is congruent to triangle COD by SSS rule therefore angle AOD is equal to angle COD or angle 1 is equal to angle 2 now we know that angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 degree why it is a linear pair correct because AC is a, AOC is a line and angle 1 is equal to angle 2 I can say that angle 1 plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degree or angle 1 is equal to 90 degree and angle 1 is equal to angle 2 so angle 2 is also 90 degree right so now angle 1 is 90 angle 2 is 90 angle 1 is equal to angle 3 so angle 3 is also 90 and angle 2 is equal to angle 4 vertical opposite angle so angle 4 is also 90 degree Thus, we have proved that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to angle 3 is equal to angle 4 and all these angles are 90 degree angles. Thus, the diagonals of the rhombus are perpendicular to each other. Okay, it is given that ABC is an isosceles triangle. AB is equal to AC. These two sides are equal. That means these angles are equal. And AD is the bisector of angle PAC. That is, AD is the bisector of angle PAC. That means these angles are also equal. And CD is parallel to AB. That is given. CD is parallel to AB. Let me write here. So we have to prove that angle DAC is equal to BCA. Let's give the number to this angle. Angle 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is given that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Right? So we have to prove that angle 3 is equal to angle 2. That is what we have to prove. Correct. Since PAC is the exterior angle, angle PAC will be equal to angle B plus angle C. Right. Angle PAC is equal to angle ABC plus angle ACB. Exterior angle sum property. Okay. Therefore, angle PAC is what? Angle 3 plus angle 4. And ABC is angle 1 and this is angle 2. Now, since angle 3 is equal to angle 4 given, so I can say this as angle 3 plus angle 3. Right? And uh, angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So, angle, instead of angle 1, I can write angle 2 plus angle 2. So, with this, twice angle 3 is equal to twice angle 2. So twice twice cancel, I can say that angle 3 is equal to angle 2. And that is what I had to prove. So I am done with this. Second, I have to prove ABC is a parallelogram. To prove ABC is a parallelogram, AB has to be parallel to CD. A, sorry, AB has to be parallel to CD. So that is given. And then BC has to be parallel to AD. So for BC has to be parallel to AB, if I can prove that these two angles are equal, then I can say that they are an alternate angle. And that is equal I have proved. Right? So since angle 3 is equal to angle 2, AD is parallel to BC. Correct? Reason is I can say alternate angle. Now since AD is parallel to BC and AB is parallel to CD, therefore ABCD is parallel. Right, why? Because AD is parallel to BC given and AB is parallel to CD. That is, I mean, AB is parallel to CD given and AD is parallel to BC. I have proof. Thus, both the opposite sides are parallel and it is a parallelogram. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.